you can start with the machine with the geometry inside the geometry i can delete i can create the box i want uh, it's a uh, change in the dimension because uh, i want to create the, the domino reference uh, it's very easy to uh, to create that so it's a bit uh, for example so we can change the transform very fast this transform and we can connect the scale with the transform relative reference and it's divided by two so we have the beta phase here and we can assign for example uh, 0 0.01 and 0 0.1 and 0 0.05 for example so we can create that little domino and then we can go to take the hour each for example that or for example i can take everything because uh, i want to create a, a polybevel and the polybevel because i need also for create a, a very um very realistic effects so we can create a round and with very small for example zero zero uh, point oh, oh, two. for example yes i can create that and maybe we can assign four or three it's like if you want it so uh, free it's okay also you can adjustment that with some uh, effects like for example you can modeling that if you want but uh, for now it's okay like this okay now we can out domino now i can come back here and i can call this domino ref reference okay and now I want to create another geometry nodes and in my geometry nodes here I can delete, I can create the object merge because I want to bring up here my domino and um, or I can also but with for example the relative reference dot dot slash dot dot slash and I can domino reference and out domino and now I can see I have here my element here so now it's it's okay and now I can um, I need to to create the the symbol for distribution this uh, element around all because uh, I want to create the shape like for example if I want to create the letter I can create the font and font I can simple type for example V like you can see that it's a V like Vendetta and I can also change for example the font I can find the font, uh, it's very nice, for example, I can choose, uh, maybe we can create also Times New Roman if you want, okay, so it's very nice, maybe that's for use that. And this is my letter, and now I can create, for example, the subdivide or divide, the divide it's the, the sop for create more tessellation and here it's more important here you can use for example the option of bricked polygons and i can assign the difference for the, i don't want to create the convex polygon i want to here choose for example 0.0, .0 you can try 1 or 0 0.2, 0 0.02, it's the same here and here, so it's the very regular. And I have here a lot of uh, my dimension, my section here, also I can uncheck the 
properties about the shared each. Maybe we can do that more big, but I think it's okay to zero zero point two. It's okay. And here, because uh, it's the same value for all axes, I can also drag and drop here relative reference and also copy and create also for that. So when I change, for example, this, it change everything without problem. This is uh, one way. Now I need to apply the color, but the color is uh, the gradient color and I have two way for apply also. I have a two soap, but I prefer use the old soap is the point. I have the point and point old. The point, uh, point old is very fast to use it because I need to connect it and here keep or add a color. And here I can add the difference value for color and I can delete all channel and I want to create the gradient for the red and with the dollar BBX or BBY in this case because the axis from up it's Y Houdini apply for me the color it's from the dark and from the light red and this way I create the gradient for my points and now I can create the VOP attribute VOP because I want to create my custom uh, attribute and uh, my custom attribute is based on the color and on the color I want to convert my my vector and I want to divide it in the float and so in three three dimensional so I need to create the vector to float I can take this vector and here I can choose the first because it's the red and I can for example use the ramp parameter in the ramp parameter I can choose here the spline so I can control with the spline if I want I can use the spline for control my color and I need also the fit range my fit range I can connect and here I can promote for example the destination minimum promote and the destination maximum I can promote also my parameter also I can grab out L and I have the system is great for me that and now I can uh, float to integer because my float I want is uh, the, is not uh, the float lies like 1.1 1.2 I want is the only the integer value so I can create the float to integer and connect it here and now I have the export my value export my value I can use uh, the my my custom attribute so the bind export here I can connect it and I can call for example um, PO it's my very custom attribute not float but I want is the integer and in this case uh, it's uh, I am sure it's only the integer value I don't see that because I don't connect this with uh, the output here but I am sure it's uh, if I go here and check I find is PO it's the internet of integer value now I can also change because I want to change for the future I want to make sure for example that is up and up here I have only three point in this way I can for example control this range and also I can but this is here and I want is my minimum is multiplied for 100 and my maximum is at zero. In this way, I am sure my value is from zero here and maximum is 100, okay? For my PO attribute. Now I want to make sure this attribute is the good attribute for points. So I can create the attribute uh, usually I can create the attribute with uh, 
the attribute variable, but in, in this case, create the attribute with the, the SOP. It's very fast because I can go here and I can say my attribute is PO and PO is my local variable. So I can create the local. It's very fast to use it in this way. But more important is write a value I can uncheck. In this case, I am sure it's uh, take four points and also it's float, but it's okay now in this way.